Hello and welcome. Today I want to show you a cool new feature called import and export speed dial. So as you know, under applications, we have speed dialing and we can manually define speed dials like this one here. Asterisk one, two, my favorite number. It will go to this number if I dial that code. What happens if I have a lot of speed dials to manage? Uh, for example, if I have 500 speed dials to manage because everyone in the organization needs to speed dial to their uh, cell phone. So we've created import and export speed dialing to handle these cases. If you're familiar with import and export extensions, it works very much the same way, only it's much simpler because as you can see, speed dialing has a very limited number of options uh, in comparison with extensions, which are much more complicated. Okay, so as you can see, the dialogue is very simple. We can export the existing speed dials, import a CSV file that contains uh, the new speed dials or changes we want to make, and we can choose the CSV file. So let's start by exporting the speed dials. And as you can see, we have only one. It's called my favorite number. We saw it a moment ago. Let's export it. And the file was saved to my computer. Let me just open it. And here it is. So we can see mode add. If you're familiar with uh, import and export extensions, then you're familiar with add and delete. If I want to make a change to modify, I leave add. That's also for modify. If I want to delete, I will just have del uh, in this uh, column. Speed dial, this is the actual code I want to dial. Destination number is the destination number I wanted to reach. Description uh, is free text. And class of service, class of service is something I can leave empty and it will be inherited from the user or I can specify a special class of service. For example, let's say um, a user cannot generally call mobile phones, but I do want to allow them uh, to call specific mobile phones that are defined in the system as speed dials. So the class of service will not be inherited, but for example, will be all permissions. That means that when a user that doesn't have permission in their class of service to dial cell phones will still be able to dial this uh, speed dial code and make a successful call. Okay, let's go back to the file and create some additional speed dials. Call them 111, 112, and 113. Okay, the mode will be add. And let's, while we're at it, delete this one. And I'll just type some numbers here. The numbers I want to dial, I can give it names. Here it is. Save the file as a CSV file. And now we can import the file back to the system. Okay, that's our file. And hit import speed dials. Okay, import completed successfully. And here I have the change log. You can see a removed speed dial asterisk one, two, added speed dial one, 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 added speed dial one, one, two, and added speed dial one, one, three. If I go to speed dial, it should reflect the same. And as you can see, it removed the older one and added the two existing ones. Like with the import and export extensions, if you want to make a change, it's also always a good idea to first export what you have today, edit it, and then import it back. So that's the new uh, speed dialing import and export feature. I hope you like it. Thank you very much.